Amber's here to party. We decided to come out and try out the happy hours. It's Friday, it's 2.30. One ends in like 20 minutes over at Jock's. So I think we're going to start there. Um, but we've never done this. It's going to see if the drinks are a good deal and if it's worth it and if it saves us money. So stop one, Jock Lindley's, it was a complete bust. They used to have happy hour, but they stopped it after the holidays. Probably because of, I guess, spring break. But anyways, that really sucks. So we're going to get over to STK where we're, hopefully we won't meet the same fate. Or is it? Uh, it's down there. Let's go. Well, in a surprise mover at Paradiso 37. Surprise is Amber's really not the biggest fan of this place. I really like the bar, though. And the happy hour is pretty good. $7 margaritas. Oh, $5 premium wells? Yeah, this will work. Hello. Hi. So uh, our first stop is Paradiso 37. Um, cheers. Cheers. So, I mean, I have to say my confidence is a little restored. It, uh, it took a minute to get our drink, but we ended up getting a double out of it. We did. Not saying anything. So they knew. <laughs> they knew. They knew. They but knew. But they took care of it, and that's great. Um, yeah. So I think, um, it, what, so what oh, did you a, end up getting? I just got a seven and seven. Okay. But it's not actually, uh, no, it's some other whiskey. Like, it's. It's a Mr. Billy Bandersnatch or something. No, he weird. told us the name of it. It was like Mr. Something Whiskey. And yeah. I was like, I've never heard of that. Mr. Happy Whiskey. I mean, it was something. <laughs> I, I don't remember what it was. Off label. Point. Yeah, I've never heard of it. So he got that, and I got the, I think you say, Corazon? Sure. Corazon? I don't know. Yeah. Um, uh, margarita on tap. So um, both of these drinks were a total of thirteen dollars and change total and we left him a 25 percent tip so it came out to 1709 for That's, our first round like a bogo like a bogo cheers cheers so stop number two is stk this is the interior portion which is um well you either like it or you don't i think not at all what i expected but we're gonna sit on the patio and they're clearing a table for us right now, so we'll meet you out there. I'm sorry, where are we? Well, just wait for a second. Just well, wait for a second. The, the wind's gonna be a problem. <laughs> Amber's like, wait, wait, wait. It's, uh, I think it's gonna be a problem the entire time we're out here, so I apologize I in not. advance. We hate that too. But anyways, this we got what a great spot we got here. And look, I mean, the weather is beautiful, and I mean, the only way they could this could be more perfect is that there's like a either a tame real one or an animatronic squirrel right there that I could pet. I think that would really that would make my day. Everybody's or like if it do. took my order, that would that would blow my mind. <laughs> um, but that, alas, it's not here, so nine out of 10 only. Um, we don't know anything about what we're gonna get, but we're excited about it, so let's uh. Let's show you the happy hour menu. This is at least, oh, yeah. I think it's just food, but. I don't know if that's coming in at all. Yum. Are we on? We're on now. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> oh. Behind the scenes looking productive. How do you feel about that old fashioned? Nine dollar premium cocktails. I mean like the, the conversation's over. This place wins. It's a it's it goes from what, three to six thirty? Yep. Monday Very through Friday. Long yep. Period of time. The, all their signature cocktails are twenty two dollar cocktails. You could argue they're overpriced to begin with and they should only really cost nine, but today they do cost nine. And it's wonderful. And you can look at this, it's so pretty here. It's gorgeous. So let me tell you what's in this cocktail. This is the Not Your Daddy's Old Fashioned. It's Woodford Reserve Bourbon, bitters, brown sugar, and vanilla bean. How do you feel about it? I feel like it's delicious. I, more Fridays are happening here more often. I can't I think so too. Been. We've you know, this. we've been talking about this, and when we review things, we always just say it's really good, it's delicious, that's fantastic. We're gonna work on that yeah. for y'all. Sorry, um, oh, no. I would say that this old fashioned is particularly sweet. Really? It's yeah. Do, do you not get that? 
We need to trade old fashioned. <laughs> Um, mine is particularly sweet. I think it's that vanilla, um, the vanilla bean and the brown sugar. I think that's what's what's coming forward for me. How about you? Uh, mine is all whiskey. Whiskey, <laughs> whiskey, whiskey. <laughs> right here. Um, and I had another point, but I've already forgotten it, which I think is a testament to the drink. We'll show you the uh, small bites we ordered when they get here. Oh. I remembered. There should be, um, it's, 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 it's just cube dice. I would have preferred a block or a, I'm an aristocrat like that. Okay, like, so I, Mr. Like McD has now adopted my complaint I've about. I've always felt that way. No, we've always agreed always on it. <laughs> yes. Um, a single block or sphere is the way to go, guys. But it's kind of hard to argue with a $9 old fashioned yeah. at Disney Springs on a Friday. Yeah. Sorry about the wind. Snacks, 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 snacks. <laughs> Amber's excited. The first salvo has arrived. What do we got here? These are, Amber, walk me through this. Okay, so where are you? Here? I'm on the shrimp. Okay, so the shrimp is the jalapeno pickled shrimp cocktail. This yeah. is $9. $9. Um, this is tater tots, and this is three bucks. Three dollars. And then this is the, um, short rib quesadilla. Oh, those look good. And that's nine bucks. Oh, sorry. Six bucks. So, All right, not the end of the world. I mean, like, our snacks are $18, y'all. So I think this is fun and delicious. Let's try it. I can't wait to dig in. We're hurrying because it's not windy right now. We apologize again for the wind. The food was amazing. Um, I think at three dollars a piece, the shrimp are my favorite. I know it sounds like a lot. It but wasn't. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so right. That's right. They were huge. Each piece of shrimp was a two, at least a two bite. So were they, my they most, were significant shrimp. So they were large. What they were I large. would uh, compare this to is the boathouse has really big shrimp, but they, they are do. more expensive than this. We do recognize that this is a happy hour special. Yeah, and it's a good one. That's the whole point of this video, like. This is a good happy hour. This, I can't believe we have been doing It's this. really good, but I also have to say, as much as I love the shrimp cocktail, because it was great. I like the pickled jalapeno. There was a, I think it was red serrano pepper on it. Um, that was fantastic. But I think the real like winner of this was that short rib quesadilla. Oh, the quesadilla. It was all good. It was good. really good. All of it was good. Like, I, we would order all of that and again. The $3 tater tots? Yeah. Yes, please. Like, that's probably the best deal. Yeah. But, yeah. So, I mean, we're already... Right now, we're taking a break. We're going to get another drink. It's coming any second. Um, and we will show you that when it arrives. Sorry for the wind. And you're lying to me if you tell me an animatronic or live trained squirrel in this spot wouldn't make this better. Hold on. And you're live. <laughs> what, um, there's no wind. We don't, we don't have to apologize for it. Um, Amber, what'd you get? So we got the fade to blackberry. Um, this is blackened whiskey, muddled mint, blackberries, and fresh lime. Take a sip. How is it? I mean. And again, this is $9 instead of $22. That is so good. So this is actually, the old fashioned was very boozy, but also sweet. This is just like full on sweet. Yeah. <laughs> it's really good, but, and I'm sure it's got booze in it, yeah. but um, it doesn't taste as booze forward as an old fashioned does. Much sweeter. I'll Both turn it of in. them had whiskey, so we're on the same train as our servers. <laughs> yeah. Uh, by the way, in case you're wondering, yes, those are G.I. Joe sunglasses and animatronic squirrel. You know, when I signed off on the $4 bread service, and again, I apologize for the wind, but when I signed off on the $4 bread service, I had no idea. I mean, like, that's 
my hand. These are huge. These are muffin sized. These are very large. I think they're even bigger than muffins. And then two people bigger than muffins, Amber says. <laughs> and they look delicious. What is on top of here? She said uh, some sort of cheese. And... It's some kind of butter. Yeah. Goodness, I think. Yeah. Sorry for the wind. Here's a cross section of the Wagyu meatball. This is, it's divine. The bread steals the show though. This is fantastic. I'm, again, so, so very sorry about the wind. Um, drinks have also come. Mojito, very strong. Definitely alcohol forward, <laughs> but delicious. And Amber, what'd you get? What is this called? Uh, the Sweet Berry Dreams. Um, so it has Tennessee cranberry, chambord, uh, pineapple, and lime. You have me in Hennessy. It looks so good. Let's try. Cheers, everybody. I think we can all agree that Disney Springs is in desperate need of an upgrade to its piped in soundtrack. This is just awful. God, this is awful years ago. It's awful now. It's gonna be awful tomorrow and until they change it in my opinion so leave a comment if you agree how'd you feel about that stk happy hour how about these ducks apparently it's mating season i was ex ex excited about the happy hour stk is the ducks at disney springs are about mating um weird I, it was a steal uh, by the way the I, we apologize to the wind also why this is not flying right now the wind doesn't seem so bad right here that's, that's why we talking, chose yeah. to do this so um sdk let's talk about it we had six, six cocktails drinks, between the two of us so five three different appetizers and five different appetizers the grand total let's see came to you $87.33 the price of four cocktails on a normal night would have been $88. So for almost the same price, you're getting six drinks and five cocktails instead of just four cocktails. That's bananas. That's bananas. Bananas. Yeah, and again, you can argue that all these are overpriced to begin with, and you're probably not wrong, but most people pay the normal prices most of the time. Yeah. So the I happy hour this in again. context is not a bad deal. Yeah, 100%. I would do this again. Yeah. Uh, with tip, our grand total was one oh six fifty four. So I I would say that our happy hour was was successful. This is tremendous success. I feel like Columbus when he found the new world. Like <laughs> we have arrived. <laughs> so um, we're gonna take a break, and then I don't know. We'll see where we end up next. Uh, well, it was a good run. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, it is good. No, this is fine. It's we had two. We the mistake here was two scoops. We should have just got one scoop of the what uh, caramel, salted caramel, salted caramel, chocolate brownie, chocolate brownie, which happens to be vegan. I'm not gonna blame it on the vegan part, but that's a coincidence. I'm just saying. I don't know. Not that good. I, it tasted good on a taster, but two scoops of this is just probably too much of the product. So um, I don't know, but you might love it. So try it out. I don't know. Like for context, oh, I thought we were gonna be on. You're on camera, <laughs> that's okay. Look at these boats, these boats are gonna cross. Look at this, beautiful. Here, let's zoom in. There they go. They're, they're... You know, they were waving to each other up there. That, of course, is the Saratoga Springs, Saratoga, Saratoga Springs Resort. I like it over there, I'm a fan. We've got some nice pools. On a golf club. Yeah, what a tranquil day. We were drinking, um, we went to our old friend Splitsville, and Amber got a Big Wave Dane and a Pina Colada, and I got a, a Rum Runner and a Big Wave Dane, Dave. So just alcoholic frozen goodness, all in all. And we're enjoying our calm evening. What, Amber, what time is it now? Um, it's 5.35. Oh my God, it's like 5.35. Let's just keep On the end of their Friday, we'd still be working. Yeah, and also, let's keep in mind, our special drinks are not happy hour. Not happy hour, she Hi. says, hello. Hi. <laughs> yeah, um, it's definitely the way, 
Yeah. It's not even, we'll talk about this later on again. But happy hour at um, SDK is the way to go. Hands down. So believe it or not, this is for sale. You can scan that and that I should bring up. I'm guessing it's $3.99 minimum. Maybe $4.99. I get my, do I get my dizzy discount with that? Well, good morning, Mr. McDonald. Good morning. Good morning. Um, yeah, I mean, that, that's 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 what happens, isn't it? I mean, you go out for a couple of happy hours and skip ahead a few more hours after that, and you're having breakfast somewhere, and that's exactly what we're doing. We're at Summer House. I'm just having a, a Diet Coke. No hair of the dog for me. Amber's got a, uh, a rosé. Rosé. Hell yeah. And we ordered some breakfast, and I mean, we showed the view a second, but this view, I don't know. Uh, I would like to go on a boat ride, but Amber says she's tired, so I might just go back and sit on the couch and take a nap. <laughs> but we'll see. Uh... All right, breakfast has arrived, and I've already dug in because I was starving. So I'm just, um, I got the three egg breakfast with uh, scrambled eggs. There's one sausage, hash browns, and some sourdough. That was pretty basic. Amber got the egg sandwich with a salad. Kind of a bummer. We thought this came with fries, but it does not, so be warned. <coughs> Anything else to add on this, Amber? Nope. It looks delicious. Okay. We're going to get some cookies. Maybe never really zone it after this to compensate. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, we're on. Cheers. Blair. Um, yeah, I got... Well, you know, <laughs> lessons are already learned, right? Did we already have these conversations? We're just we back. We're back up to our no good deeds. We are. Um, we started off here yesterday for happy hour. At, well, okay, so we ended. Weekend. We ended a Friday here, and we're starting a Saturday. <laughs> I have the Jack Jack Raz, which is just very alcoholic. Uh, you know, just a standard old fashioned. The boathouse does. A solid old-fashioned. Yeah, and we're on, we're on top. We're on the water. It, the weather today is as beautiful as yesterday. So, you know, why not keep the party going? I'm all for this. I agree. Talk to me on Monday, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we're fine. We pace ourselves. We're not irresponsible. We're not. We do. We don't make dumb decisions. We don't go we and don't. drive after you know. We, we, we mellow out. We go shopping, and um, we we'll talk to you guys. Right? We, 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 we've been making videos. We do. So. Um, Let's get the party going. Another absolutely gorgeous day. Uh, we didn't want to waste it. We didn't want to sit on the couch. Um, wasting the day away. We wanted to come out here and be active. So we're moving from Disney Springs. There's a balloon up. So it's not even that windy today. And we're going to hop on a boat. Either the boat to Riverside or the boat to Key West. Whichever of those two shows up first, we're going to get on. Um, we don't feel like going to Saratoga or uh, uh, French Quarter. Nothing against them, just not in our scene right now. So let's go see what the what the day holds. Well, we're totally cheating. The boat for Old Key West was here first. Well, we decided it would just be more picturesque. They take the boat ride over to Riverside, and uh, we like their pool bar more. I mean, gurgling suitcase is great, but it's very small. And it's a busy weekend, so I think we're going to have a better chance of getting a seat at Riverside. So that's where we're going. We'll see you over there. Or we'll see you on the journey there.
why I lied again. We ended up getting the boat to French Quarter because <laughs> there's a wonderful bartender. Hello. Um, they just redid the bar. Look how good it looks. It's so bright. It's so airy. White countertops. They're making me a Mai Tai and a, and a Calava. Um, but yeah, there's new tile. There's new chairs. It has a new bar smell. And it's just lovely. Right outside the French Quarter pool, which, by the way, is packed on a relatively cool day. So... So we didn't even know this, but this was the grand reopening of the bar. It's been under um, a facelift since February. They had a pop-up bar down by the river. So yeah, we were like the second or third party to enjoy it. This is gonna be part of the pool complex when they're done. They're expanding the pool because there's not a lot of seating. So look forward to that. Well, we're walking over to River said, I hate it. I don't know how shaky this is. Hopefully it's not shaky. But um Yeah, we're gonna go to Riverside now. We're gonna walk over and maybe have another drink there. Just check stuff out and uh take the boat back to Dizzy Springs. Okay, in complete defense of the woman who may or may not have been skinny dipping, she was certainly topless, that jumped in the Sasagula River uh several, several weeks ago. To be fair, uh, there's a warning about alligators and snakes. Stay away from the water. It's a warning, though. It's not a rule. And it definitely doesn't say no swimming. So should she have been banned for jumping in the river? I mean, probably wasn't wise. I wouldn't have suggested she do that. But um, the signage isn't clear. So Amber and I had a healthy debate about this the other day while we were checking out the uh, the swan and dolphin and we were looking at their signage which does clearly say no swimming so let us know what you think should she have been trespassed from Disney property for doing I mean I guess the indecent exposure is probably enough to get her but let, let's pretend she had a bathing suit on should she be trespassed let us know join the debate hello Gary Gary uh, once again cannot join us on uh, what a fun filled weekend this turned out to be, right? I mean, God, you, you show up to, to cover some happy hours and then it turns into two days of just kind of bar hopping, resort hopping, and having a great time. Anyways, uh, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate you uh, being along for our adventures. Please um, like the video, share the video with friends if you, if, you, if you care to do so. Above all else, we'd love for you to subscribe so you don't miss any of our future adventures. We're a new channel. We're growing. We're not as polished as the others, but bear with us. We're trying to get better. We're trying to get more entertaining. Um, let us know what you like, what you didn't like, um, what adventures you'd like to see us go on in the future, and we'll try and accommodate that. And until then, have fun storming the castle and stay magical.